This is my calamondin plant. It's a kind of citrus. Ay, these nice small calamondins. Here are some flowers that are about to open up. This is one of the host plants of the giant swallowtail butterfly, the caterpillar, eats the leaves of this plant. Here is one of the caterpillars. He's pretty big now. This one anytime now will be going into the cocoon phase. Let me put my finger next to it so you can see the size. It's pretty big. Now, let me move them a little bit. The actual eyes, you can't see it, but let me see, are on the, the bottom there. See? It looks like the head is on the top, but it's actually toward the, toward the bottom. Now, as a defense mechanism, let me see if I could get him to look. He shoots out these red projections on the head. And it also gives out an odor. It's supposed to be an offensive odor to scare away predators, but to me it actually smells kind of nice. Very aromatic. There he is. And this plant actually has different stages of the caterpillar, different instars. Here's a, a younger caterpillar. Wow, I got several here munching away. Here's some more little guys. He's been eating on that branch. Whoop, there's another one. I actually keep this calamondin around to help increase the population here of my giant swallowtails. There you are. And actually, here's another one. Here's one, a cocoon, that already the butterfly already came out of. See, it's empty. That's how it attaches to the branch. That one, the butterfly's already gone and flying around my yard, hopefully. So there you go, and if you click on the link to my website, you can read more about the giant swallowtail and the caterpillar, and more about its life cycle. Thank you.